You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I'm going to tell you how much it will cost you to take the FE Exam and also look into some of the additional costs that you may incur while planning to take the exam. This Pass the FE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Fundamentals of Engineering, or FE exam, is generally your first step in the process to becoming a licensed professional engineer, or PE. Typically, the exam is designed for recent graduates and students who are close to finishing an undergraduate engineering degree from an EAC ABET accredited program. However, professionals at any career stage can apply to sit for the exam. So, how much will it cost you to sit for the FE exam? To get straight to the point here, the FE exam will cost you $175 unless you live in the following states or regions which have fees as follows. Illinois requires an additional fee of $107 to the state board. Massachusetts requires an additional fee of $136 to their state board. Minnesota requires an additional fee of $25 only if you're not enrolled in a degree program or you've already graduated. New Hampshire has an additional fee of at least $150 and possibly more according to their specific fee schedule. New York requires an additional $70 fee only if you have a foreign or non-ABET accredited degree. Mississippi requires an additional fee of $25. Puerto Rico may require an additional fee as part of the exam registration process However, you'll need to contact their testing administrator, Didaxis, for more information. Remember, if you're not sure about the fees in your area, contact your licensing board for more information. Now let's look at some additional costs that you might incur while going through the FE exam process. Apart from paying for exam registration, you may also have to pay for a hotel and food if you live far from the testing center. And this might increase your cost by about $400 or $500 you're going to need an approved calculator. These usually will only set you back about $15 or $20, and if you get the right one, it'll last you a long time, and you can use it for both the FE and PE exams. In fact, we did a full video on this called, What's the Best Calculator for the FE Exam? And we're gonna to link to that video in the description below. Purchasing a review course is optional, but might be the right thing for you if you're worried about passing the exam or maybe if you failed it before. Our sponsor, PPI, has some great self-study, on-demand, as well as live online courses available, starting from as little as $59 that you can find at PPI, the number two, pass.com forward slash FE dash exam. The NCWS FE reference handbook is the only reference material that can be used during the exam. You will be provided with an electronic reference handbook at the time of the exam. For access prior to your exam, you may either purchase a hard copy or download a free electronic copy. And it's a good idea to practice with the electronic one since that's the one you're using on the exam. There are also a lot of other great review manuals on Amazon that you can go ahead and review and possibly purchase. Michael Lindeberg's PPI FE Civil Practice, a comprehensive practice guide for the NCWS FE Civil Exam, ranges from $70 to $130. This is published by PPI and the author is the same author of the popular Civil Engineering Reference Manual or CIRM, which every engineer used to take into the exam, including me 20 years ago or so. PPI's FE Review Manual, titled Rapid Preparation for the Fundamentals of Engineering Exam, Third Edition, a comprehensive preparation guide for the FE exam, ranges from 30 
to $80. It's also by Lindenberg, but a cheaper option than the previous one. We will of course link to these books in the description below this video. In summary, the cost to take the FE exam starts at $175 and could go up to $1,000 or more depending on your proximity to the testing center and whether or not you need review courses or other materials. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button and you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you, to ask questions in the comments below this video and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a problem you need solved. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.